Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing a general timeless reading as we do. I will be taking my time with this one so this might be a longer reading depending on the messages that come through. So first and foremost, happy birthday to all of the beautiful fishies celebrating your birthday today. Happy birthday to those who recently celebrated and those who will be celebrating very soon. This is Pisces season and I'm so, so happy to be here with you today, Pisces. This is the Pisces Club, so a channel completely dedicated to Pisces. As you can see here, if you ever want to support the channel, you can get some merch. It's really cute. <laughs> the link will be in the description box. So yeah, this is definitely the place to enjoy Pisces season um, in the community tab. You're going to see that I'm adding every single day of Pisces season a song that means a lot to me and that I feel resonates with the energy of each day. That way, you know, you, we can just connect through a very different, more artistic space. It's a, I mean, come on, music is, is a form of connection that is like no other. Besides that, every day uh, I'm sharing the famous birthday of, you know, each day of Pisces season. So we can all see the different very successful or very um, iconic Pisces that are changing the world in all industries. All right, so for the reading, as always, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And it's not about anything in particular, you know, it's going to be a general, I'm going to be using different decks as I'm guided. So let's just flow with it. All right. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. What is it that Pisces needs to hear? What is it that Pisces needs to know? to best navigate their reality moving forward and achieve their goals, desires, and missions in the most harmonious, quick, and lovely way. All right. So some of you here are going to be maybe getting invited to an event, a birthday, a party, a celebration of some sort. Maybe you're celebrating your birthday, that would be pretty obvious. Um, some of you here are having like a very passionate new beginning. I see someone like at a party, maybe like a bar, something kind of chill. Um, but I do see someone here that is connecting to someone who maybe is an expert or a professional or something in something that they love and they haven't done in ages. You know, it could be, I don't know, it could be songwriting, it could be dancing, it could be photography, uh, something that's interesting for each is going to be different. Um, but it's like you get to know someone who's like a pro at it and you connect to this person and it's like, oh my God, I really want to do this. You get very inspired. That could be the case for some of you. You could be that inspiration for someone else, too. Some of you here could be uh, contemplating the possibility of pregnancy. Or, like, creating something. Like, giving birth to a project, an idea, a new business. But for some of you, this could actually be a pregnancy and it could have something to do with a third party situation. So, you know, beware of that. Take measures accordingly. So we got here How interesting. Okay, so there is... Okay, let me see. In the challenge position, we're getting here the Ace of Swords. In this deck, I've never even noticed this, but in this deck, the sword is wooden, which I find fascinating because I've never noticed and I've used this deck so much. That's how the tarot works, I guess. Um, 
And it's coming up in the challenge. So the immediate thing that it makes me think of is a saying that we say here in my country and in Latin America. I don't know if you guys have that in like the States. Um, those of you who speak Spanish will know. Um, Casa de Herrero, Cuchillo de Palo, right? <laughs> Which means like, literally it's like in the house of someone who works with, uh, I don't know, metals and iron and shit. Um, and someone who could really make the best sword tends to be someone who uses a sword that's made out of wood, like, because it's more handy. And, you know, the more symbolic or kind of like the, the lesson of it is that, you know, there is this tendency when we're really, really good at something, you know, sometimes we don't practice what we preach, basically. <laughs> In essence, that's kind of what it says. Um, Casa de Herrero Cuchillo de Palo. And it's interesting because it could be showing up as a challenge here that some of you, it's like you're very good at what you do. You're very capable. Let's say that you are a therapist, you're a psychologist, but you don't apply that all to yourself as much. <laughs> you may be a light worker, energy worker, Reiki healer, but then you're not really doing those healings on yourself. Maybe you are not, basically not walking the talk. And that could be affecting you in a way that it really doesn't have to. Because you have what it takes. It's like you have the sharpest sword and at home that you made and is perfect. But some of you are just grabbing the wooden sword that is like on your desk because it's closer to you and that's it. Out of comfort, out of like, you know, a lack of resistance. And they're telling you here, like, that's actually hurting you more than you realize. So maybe follow your own advice. You know, maybe do the things that you suggest to others. Maybe um, step out of a desire for comfort, a desire for minimal effort, <laughs> and actually choose the things that are right, even if they're not the easiest. Basically, what you advise others to do, do yourself. Some of you could be having, some of you may be wanting to invite someone on a date, to offer your love to someone, to give a gift to someone possibly. Some of you may be wanting to extend a form of kindness to another. It may not be that easy though for some reason. This could have something to do with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be receiving as well you know what? I'm feeling like a water sign is trying to apologize to you. But maybe they're blocked or something. So they can't get that apology to you. But it seems like someone here is trying to apologize to you. behind Pisces so some of you that have been struggling with anxiety anxiety disorders a lot of stress worries nightmares and things like that know that that is definitely being purged out of your system so maybe it was circumstantial circumstance circumstances are getting better okay if maybe it wasn't circumstantial but more like I don't know biological I don't know related to something else um, it seems like there is some kind of healing happening or some kind of supplement helping or something that is leaving that anxiety behind. And you got the emperor as well. I, I feel like some of you, Pisces, you have a lot of potential for leadership and power and authority. In the past, it may have not felt like a safe route to take. You know, some of you may not feel like you have what it takes. You may have felt like it was, you know, dangerous, that you were going to be disliked, judged, persecuted, possibly. Um, in some way, it just spelled trouble <laughs> for you in the past to really step into that leadership position. But I feel like that is changing. I feel like you simply know more. You are more mature, 
you have grown, you have learned, and it, it's really making a difference. The things that you saw as like terrifying, out of your league, just way too complicated, have throughout the years started to sound more simple, you know? And that is almost like a reflection or a sign that the more simple it seems, it's like the closer you are to it. We got here the seven of pentacles in your mind space. Some of you have planted a lot of seeds and you're starting to see each one of those seeds grow. And this could go from, you know, all areas of your life. You've planted the seed of starting a side hustle. And you're starting to see the pieces coming together. It's starting to take shape. You planted the seed of maybe better habits as far as your health. And you're starting to see how it's taking shape. You're starting to get maybe a routine. You're starting to get maybe, I don't know, things are, are starting to look up in that area. Same goes for maybe love, maybe hobbies, maybe, um, I don't know, <laughs> uh, savings. I don't know, Pisces. Comment below and let me know what seeds you have recently planted that are starting to take shape in your life. I feel like for the majority of you, it's like several at the same time. Like they're all growing in parallel to each other. But they don't necessarily have to be about the same context. So there is some for health, there is some for love, there is some for family, there is some for social stuff, there's some for spiritual stuff, you know. Then we got here on your mind space. The Nine of Cups and the Five of Swords. And these swords are not wooden, see? Fascinating, fascinating. For a second I thought like maybe all the swords are wooden in this deck, but no. No, no, no. All right, so let's, let's move into that. The Five of Swords. People having different opinions, not seeing eye to eye, conflicts, drama. It seems like you're not engaging, Pisces, but you may be thinking of it. So you may be thinking of how in the past those things had an ability to like wrap you up and like bring you in, pull you in, into the drama, into the fights, into the whatever. And it seems like now people's drama just really doesn't have, it, it just doesn't have that power over you anymore. Even if it involves you directly, it's like, I don't know, I see Pisces taking on this attitude of, let them think whatever they want to think. Let them, you know, just kind of like engage in shadow box <laughs> with what they thought you are, which we mentioned in the previous reading. You're okay with people not understanding your point of view. You're okay moving against what is expected of you if you're sure that that is what is good for you. And I know it sounds like Duh, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. But it's not that easy when the situation is happening. You know, you may know very well that what you should do is not give a damn what people say. That doesn't mean necessarily that you don't give a damn yet. <laughs> you know, knowing what you need to do and doing what you need to do or feeling, feeling it can be very different. So we got here nine of cups as well. This is a very, very beautiful, very powerful very powerful card. Some of you are realizing that by planting the seeds you have planted and by setting the boundaries that you have set, you're starting to see your self-esteem improve. Some of you are starting to see um, kind of like this new version of you emerging that is very balanced. You're not harsh with your boundaries. You're not aggressive with your self-care. You know, you're not pushing people away aggressively. But your boundaries are very strong. And the seeds that you're planting, you're being patient enough to see how, you know, slowly but surely, with the commitment, with the love, with the kindness, with the patience, they are flourishing. Some of you are 
entering a phase of your life in which love is going to be everywhere. And I'm so happy to see this, Pisces, because I know that many of you have gone through a lot of situations that spoke of betrayal and difficulty and liars, cheaters, stealers, you know. And I see that... I already see that changing, Pisces. It has been already changing for some time. I would say maybe the last year, you may be a little bit more open to to other people. You may be kind of almost like intrigued by the idea of connecting to people who simply may be good people. <laughs> maybe in the past, at some point, you thought like everyone's the same. You know, I'm not going to open up to anyone because they're all the same. Whatever. Now, it seems like you're changing that or that is being that has been changing and you can see that. Um, we have here in the future a space with a lot of genuine friendships, a lot of harmonious, healthy, balanced uh, fi family dynamics, whether it is with your own family or chosen family. I see in the near future a lot of love for those of you who, you know, resonate with the romantic aspect of love so let's say that you've always wanted to have your person right meet your person have this like beautiful love relationship ideal one um this is showing up in the near future for you so if that is something that you want continue to tend to the seeds and the boundaries that you know are correct for you and that love is coming in here for some of you it's with someone called patrick <laughs> yeah person or you may be born on uh, 1983 or 1977 I see Oh my god, Pisces, this is so amazing. I love this for you. I love this for you. So, you have been tolerating a lot, Pisces. <laughs> From what I'm seeing in the cards, it's like things have been slow at times. They have been unfair at times. They have been just simply not aligned with what is happening inside of you almost. But it's like now, I see in the near future, very, very soon, I see almost like the, the universe saying like, oh, okay, here, here is the reimbursement for all of the expenses paid. <laughs> like all of your patience, all of your hard work, all of your um, willingness to heal, all of your determination, perseverance, commitment, um, everything good that you have put into your life, out into the world, to other people. It's like, oh, okay, this is your big check um, for all of the things that have not been kind of recognized just yet. So instead of like doing one project and getting the reward for it immediately, maybe some of you have been like working, 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 getting minimal results. Some of you may have been working out, eating well, getting minimal results. Some of you may have applied to a bunch of jobs, not get any answers back. And now it's like it all comes back all at once. <laughs> and it's really, really beautiful, Pisces. It's really ideal. Some of you are going to be receiving maybe prosperity, abundance, financial abundance coming from someone who has a very pure thought of you. So this could be, as I mentioned, uh, chosen family. This could be friends, real authentic friendships. This could be even people at work that really value you. You're going to start to see the difference between someone who values you for real and some of the people that you've had in the past who maybe value you because of what you can give them, or how they how you made them feel <laughs> or the energy that they could take you know uh from you and stuff like that that is changing pisces there is balance you know there is there is a lot of like 
divine justice coming in. Some of you here sacrificed the mind. Oh, that's what I heard. Sacrificed the mind. What does that mean, Pisces? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below. What I'm thinking uh, with this card, which is a king of swords, is that some of you really... I feel like you started recently learning or understanding fully how the mind has its place and the heart has its place and it's like intuition has its place and each one of those is important none of them none of them is more important than the other it's a it's kind of like a combination of everything that really takes you into the right path some of you could be dealing with a libra gemini aquarius this person could be very loving this person could be very kind and very sweet and They may be very strategic, very thoughtful as well, very intelligent. This person could be offering you some kind of money, some kind of financial support. Maybe like a gift for your birthday or an inheritance, you know, while everyone's alive and well. Things like that. You know, sometimes people do that. That's like, okay, I'm healthy and I'm well, but I'm going to give you my inheritance right now so you can use it and build your life and then you know that's that's what it is that could be the case for some of you so when i mention inheritance it doesn't necessarily have to mean grief you know now we got here the strength card and the four of cups again this has been showing up a lot too some of you are a little burned out you had to be strong for way too long pisces but you can be strong as long as you need to be strong okay you are very strong pisces but i do see that some of you are a little tired so it's not that you don't have what it takes it's not that you're out of power you know, you have that inner power and it's not going anywhere. But I do see that some of you could use some rest. You may be pushing your priorities, you know, over your self-care. You may be choosing to work a little bit more and sleep a little bit less. You may be choosing, um, you know, maybe to adapt your schedule to your partners or to your children's or to someone else's needs. And Spirit is telling you, even though there's no problem with that, right now it could be making you feel a little bit sluggish in a moment of your life in which tending to those seeds and those boundaries in the best way you can is very important. So it's like almost Spirit telling you, you know, if you had the energy, you could go into these, you know, paying attention to these seeds way more and it would be very beneficial. So, you know, maybe just take a little bit better care of your sleep if you can somehow. Some of you sleep with your animals, with your pets. Maybe in the bed, maybe around in the room. Maybe with your children in the bed as well. And you may think that you're resting and sleeping and it's all lovely because they're so cute. <laughs> and you want to spend that time with them. You may not be realizing that your sleep is shit. Like, you may be waking up every 20 minutes because of someone moving or barking or meowing or throwing something off the table if you have cats, right? <laughs> and uh, it's quite, I don't know, like very subtly harmful. Like you don't realize how har harmful it could be for your overall performance of life, if there is such a thing. <laughs> You're transforming. It's just so obvious. It's so notable. People around you can tell that things are shifting and that things are changing. And that new possibilities are opening up, not at a far distance and not in this like ethereal potential future. Things are opening up for you right now. And you're crossing these doors right now. And you're making the changes and you're committing and you're seeing the results or you will be very, very soon 
that mark a before and after in your life. This is intense, Pisces. And these readings that have been coming up recently, part of the reason why they're longer, I think, it's because the messages are very, like, ground groundbreaking? Not groundbreaking. It's, it's more like the things that are coming through are really impactful like the moment that you're in your life it's like louder than usual the transformation the new beginning is like louder bigger than usual because we always have new beginnings every month with the moon we have new beginnings every day is a new beginning you know it's like every time that something new comes up something ends so you're always gonna hear that in tarot readings you know and in astrology there's oh we're always in that ebb and flow but there's some new beginnings in our lives, you know, that are like, oh, you know, when I did that, everything changed. <laughs> you know, these like pivotal moments, um, you know, that happen in your life, but maybe three or four times in your lifetime, you know. And I feel like you're either in one of those or like super close to that moment, that decision, that proposal, that invitation, that agreement, that contract that thing that changes everything for some of you it's going to be fame and purpose we talked about it in the previous reading if that resonates with you especially if you're like an author or you kind of know that you've always like resonated with that or you're like you're meant to be an author even if you don't really write um just watch that video it's really powerful There's a lot, and I mean a lot, of what is happening and what is taking form that is growing from your, like, mm, I don't know if Akashic Records or, like, subconscious mind. There is something that is flourishing that has been in the back burner for a while. This could be a talent of yours. This could be um, something that you love. This could be a mission. This could be a purpose. This could be, you know, so many things. But basically, everything around you seems to be conspiring to unearth from the depths of you something that is going to change your life, something that is going to be that defining factor. They're making an emphasis here on boundaries. Please, Pisces, don't tend to others, other people's needs over your own. You can be generous, you can be loving, you can take care of all the people that you love very, very generously. Just don't do it to your expense, you know? Some of you here, ooh, this is interesting. Some of you here are very focused on who you want to be, right? Who you want to become. There's love coming in. And for those Pisces, especially Pisces masculines, you may feel like it's like, you know what, I'd rather, I'd rather focus on myself. I'm not going to take this, you know, offer of love, this invitation. I'm not going to start dating this person. I'm not going to start a relationship with this person, even though I want to. Because I'd rather focus on myself, focus on my craft, focus on my work, focus on my family, whatever. Spirit is telling you here, there is no need for that. Incorporating a romantic relationship into your life, allowing this person in that you really want to allow in, <laughs> in that romantic context, is only going to bring all areas of your life higher. So if you're wanting to, let's say, focus on your creativity, focus on your art, focus on your job, and you may think that this person could be a distraction, you're going to realize very soon if you give it a chance that this person is actually going to become your muse or this person is actually going to become um, that person that triggers inspiration within you so you can reach higher heights, you know? I have here the Eight of Cups. Some of you want to walk away from something. Yeah, some of you just want to walk away from... Wow. Okay. Pisces, this is very interesting. 
some of you are wanting to walk away from spiritual woo-woo stuff like this. <laughs> And you may be kind of like, you know what, I already went through my like spiritual era and I'm, I want to just be a little bit more grounded in the, the mundane. Some of you may be wanting to let go of maybe a belief system, a thought process, a perspective, a lens about um, or how you see life, you know, through spirituality somehow. But at the same time, it's like you want that, but you don't, which is interesting. Some of you want a new beginning in love. But you don't. At the same time. Oh, yes, Pisces. Where are you headed? Nine of rods and the ten of pentacles. Your effort, Pisces, is paying off. It really is. I know that sometimes it doesn't seem like that. I know that sometimes it, it just feels like all tarot readers say that and you're like, ugh, level, you know, like eye roll or whatever. <laughs> and you never really see it. Pisces, that's not the case for this one. Mark my words. Like, just wait for it. Just wait for it. And you're gonna tell me, damn it, she was right. <laughs> and you're going to say that with a smile on your face because what's coming is very good. Very, very, very good. You have the Ten of Pentacles. This is super intense, like, stable, grounded, sustainable, generational wealth. You know, this is a lot of money coming in, a lot of money staying, you know, a lot of money being able to be, like, almost donated, if that's what you want, to others as well. You're going to be able to bless others with uh, the, the abundance and the prosperity that is coming your way. I know it hasn't been easy, Pisces. I see it here with the Nine of Wands that it has taken some time. Some of you are bruised out of, you know, this journey of maybe the pursuit of financial freedom. Some of you have been trying really hard. <laughs> some of you have been struggling for a really long time. Some of you have been making the right choices, putting in the work, doing everything that you need to do. Step in, step out, day in, day out with limited results. And now you're going to see those results. They have not been gifted to you. So when they come in, don't feel guilty for all the money coming in. Don't feel guilty for all the blessings coming in because you have already worked for them. You have already put in the work. That's the thing. It may feel like all of a sudden the universe is just blessing you randomly. You may feel like you're all of a sudden very lucky, luckier than others. It may trigger guilt within you. But that's Pisces, that's not the case. You have put in this work. You really, really have. Instead of seeing a lot of tiny results daily, you have been almost like deprived of results for years, only to now receive this like tsunami of blessings. So own it. You've earned it. You know, it's yours. It's not just a fluke, okay? And don't let anyone, don't let anyone make you feel like you just got lucky. You know what I mean? Like, fuck that. That's not the case. Keep going, Pisces. Keep going. Don't give up now. Like, this is definitely not the time to give up. Um, even if you're feeling tired, even if you're feeling a little, you know, kind of like weighed down by the whole journey you've been in, make sure that you rest instead of quit, okay? Take a nap. Take many naps. Do things you love. Find ways to recharge, but don't let the exhaustion pull you out of, uh, you know, the journey because you're so close to something here, okay? Okay. All right, let's see what else is showing up. Let's pull some additional cards here, Pisces.
please, universe, give us a little bit more of a glimpse into the future here. Show us a little bit more of what is going to be unfolding in the near future for Pisces. What is this big, beautiful thing that's coming? Tell us more. An end to conflict and petty drama. An ending to... Um, an ending of people around you not being able to see your worth. That is changing. That is in the past. You are being perceived as someone who knows what they're doing. You're not going to feel like you need to be the best at everything all the time, perfectly forever, in order to just be seen. Instead, it seems like you're going to be effortlessly yourself. You're going to be allowing yourself to, you know, be a beginner where you need to be a beginner. You're going to allow yourself to humbly patiently enjoy your life and even with tiny tiny um not even efforts like just by doing what you need to do you're going to be very well recognized whereas before maybe you were in an industry that could not see your worth no matter what or you know this could be maybe being in a family that no matter what you did you know, it was just never going to be enough. Yeah, the ending of tough times, Pisces. That's what's coming. The ending of difficult times. Times of loneliness, abandonment, betrayal, feeling misunderstood. All of that is changing. Real, authentic love showing up here again. So this is uh, a different deck. And the same cards are popping up, so nice. <laughs> uh, we got here with this Two of Cups. You being so in love that others around you are like, ugh, you know, like, we're very happy for you, but like, ugh. <laughs> you, you may be feeling super... Like in, a, in cloud nine, you may feel so happy and excited and thrilled and loved and appreciated and respected, you name it. And others around may be like, you know, I'm very glad for you, genuinely, I'm happy for you, but I would really like that too. <laughs> like there, there could be a little bit of jealousy, but not from like a bad place. This is not the kind of jealousy like from haters. This is more of like your best friend being like fuck like i really want that too you know out of like love and you know they they may even tell you like i'm jealous of you i really want that you know and it can happen for them too it's not a, a thing that's toxic but you will be experiencing a love that is just so noticeable you know it's gonna be like everyone around you can tell that you're loved deeply and madly by your partner and everyone around may notice that you're deeply in love as well. You're not going to have trouble making choices, Pisces, because of what we saw here earlier, that you have made sort of like this um, really good balance between your mind, your heart, and your intuition, knowing like what decisions belong to who <laughs> and how to bring all of that together to make an informed choice. Professionally, you may have a lot of options. You may have a lot of options, possibilities, opportunities, and sometimes it's not going to be clear for you to know where to say yes or what to say yes to. Uh, you may feel like sometimes you need to stop and think. You may feel sometimes you need to protect what you have already created in the near future. But you're good. I, I see you with your eyes open, with a smile on your face. I see you standing uh, standing tall. I don't see you tired in the near future, Pisces. So definitely some of you are recovering from burnout um, or a period of like depression, which is lovely. 
Now let's do a Celtic cross for the future alone. You know what? Please bring in a accurate, complete Celtic cross prediction for Pisces about what is coming in the next three months. So I'm recording this on March 2024. The rest of the reading is timeless. This particular little bit is going to be about the three months coming up here for Pisces. So March, April, May 2024. There you go, Six of Wands. This is where you're headed, Pisces. Card of victory, card of success, card of recognition. Everything that we've been seeing is here in the near future for you. People recognizing your efforts, again. Not recognizing necessarily your efforts, recognizing instead your abilities, your success, your potential, your, your badassness. <laughs> You know, some people may not recognize how hard you work for it. You know, a lot of people, it makes them feel better about themselves to say, you know, like, oh, you know, Pisces just got lucky, whatever. Because, you know, if they were to see the effort that you have put in that has, or that will be leading you to this massive success, that would mean that they need to admit that they're not doing that. So that's why for some people, it's easier to just say that you got lucky. But you didn't get lucky, Pisces. You created that luck yourself by working hard, by persevering, by putting always um, the best foot forward, even in the toughest circumstances, Pisces. I see awards, I see fame, I see... Um, you know what I see? Like, you know that sometimes, like, the government uh, gives sort of, like, like, a medal of whatever recognition for, like, doing something amazing to someone. <laughs> I don't even know what that's called. I didn't even know that I knew what that was. But I do know it happens. And some of you are going to get that. Like, um, you know, that someone that does something heroic and they, they give them this, like, your hero thing. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Some of you may have already received that. Um, some of you maybe are aware that you're already sort of, like, going to... Or it may happen spontaneously. You may be at the right place at the right time and you may help someone or you may do something and all of a sudden you're like internationally recognized as some kind of hero. Which I know it sounds very like out there and like far-fetched. But it doesn't seem like it's going to be. It seems like for some of you it's just going to happen. Which is pretty cool. Now I see that some of you are going to be experiencing anxiety, stress, overthinking, and obsessive uh, thoughts around love and romance. So some of you maybe are crushing on someone very, very intensely. Maybe some of you are expecting um, some kind of unrequited love as well. And that could definitely be the source of stress in the next three months for some of you. You'll know if you're in this situation just the fact that this is showing up here doesn't mean that it's going to happen to all of you. Not at all. Not at all. Um, but some of you may be recovering from some card of heartache here. Now, I see that recently, probably right now, your intuition is coming into like a renaissance, your creativity as well. I see that you're walking away from something that you have built, but you're not tearing it down. You know what I mean? It's like, let's say that you've created a business. You're going to like set it all up, automate it, and then move on to the next thing. It's not that you are forgetting about what you have created. It seems like you're just going to be almost like streamlining it or like handing it over to someone 
that can manage it for you and you're going to move on to the next thing. You're going to move on to the next adventure. You're going to be moving on to um, new, interesting, fun spaces. You have mastered boundaries, Pisces. It really seems like you have truly mastered boundaries. You have no problem defending your need for time, privacy, energy, alone time. You know, all of the things that maybe in the past it was like difficult for you to like ask for. It seems like now you're completely comfortable asking for those things and it's really making a difference. Around you, <laughs> some of you, some of you are sleeping with beings that you love in the bed, children, pets, stuffed animals, I don't know, but they're not letting you sleep right. <laughs> they're not letting you like sleep properly. Some of you really need to pay attention to your rest. How long are you resting? The quality of your sleep. Some of you are like sleeping with your TV on or the lights on. Some of you are like, I don't know, sitting, like snoozing a thousand times before waking up. Like as far as neuroscience goes, that's like really bad for you. And I think that it's really showing. Like some of you are feeling fatigued and annoyed and dragged, like you're dragging everything. And it's literally that's the reason why. More and more opportunities are coming your way, Pisces. You're going to be having an easier time making choices moving forward. I get this sense that the past few years, you have you have maybe had this cycle in which you were like, I can't really do or I don't really want to do a lot of things at once. Like you were having a hard time uh, kind of like giving the same amount of energy and time to different things. Like juggling, but having all of the balls fall. <laughs> and now I feel like you're going to be juggling more balls and they're going to be in the air and you're going to do a good job. So there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to be saying yes to. And you're going to be able to very sustainably take them into a space of success for you, for yourself. Ah, Pisces. Some of you are going to be very highly recognized for your intuition, your accuracy. It's if you're like a tarot reader or if you are a diviner of some sort, your accuracy is going to be really uh, noticed. For others of you, if you are like a healer or a therapist, the effect that you have on people is going to be very noticeable as well. You're going to see results and people are going to see that you can make things happen. It's very lovely. I feel like you've always been able to do what is going to start catching people's attention. You've always done it or you've done it for, you know, a long time without recognition. And all of a sudden it's like you're being discovered. This, this is a message that came up in a previous reading as well. So if that resonates with you, check out the previous reading. It, uh, the title says something about you being like really famous. Um, because there's a big theme here of getting your big break, Pisces. I love that. You deserve it. God knows you deserve it. Remember that you deserve it. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, Pisces. So this is what I got for you today. I hope that this resonated with you. Keep going. Don't quit. Don't stop. Take a nap if you need to, but keep going, Pisces. Okay? You're doing good. You're headed towards a magical, magical time of your life. And I kind of giggle when I say that because I don't think there's enough words to describe how big and how like the magnitude of it is what I'm feeling here. So it's exciting. Happy birthday to all of you in Pisces season. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, my loves.